Thank you for that informative and inspirational address. Uh, Roman, would you? Mr. Prime Minister, ladies and gentlemen, I have been asked to address you for the second time this day. I hope you will forgive me for, for that fact. Uh, the title of our panel is Crimes and Legacy of Communism. Well, we know what have been crimes and legacy of communism. 100 million people killed and still counting because there are still communist regimes. Many, many more hundreds of million of persons impoverished. Their legitimate properties stolen and those people enslaved. Their basic human rights, fundamental human rights and their basic civil liberties violated. That's the legacy of communism. And all of us, we know that. And why? Why so many people had had faith in communism in the past? I, as a young boy, I was taught that communist Marxist philosophy was a, was a, was a scientific worldview. All others worldviews were deemed to be non-scientific. And we were taught there were three sources and three parts of Marxism, Leninism, like French revolutionary political theory, British political economy, and the German idealistic philosophy and Marx genius, scientific genius Marx, blended together Hegelian dialectics with Ludwig Feuerbach's materialism. So it was dialectic materialism. Czech lands, Czech Republic was perhaps the only country, shamefully, in the world, which in a relatively free, not completely free, but relatively free and democratic elections in 1946, uh, elected not a majority, but a plurality of communists. Communist Party, one of four political parties in Czech lands, got about 40%. Uh, more than any other of those three remaining parties. But together, those three parties received 60%. The situation in Slovakia was much better. There were only two parties, uh, Communists and Democratic Party. Communists received 30% and, and uh, Democrats 70%, even though communism was imposed on Slovakia by Slovak and Czech communists. So why in no other country Communist Party was first in a free, fair, democratic elections? There were strong Communist parties in Italy, in France, but always at best there were second, fortunately. In Czech lands, Communist Party was the first, got plurality of votes. Why so many people, 40% of Czech society at that time, had a dream in a, a communist ideology? Well, some thought that communists fought against Nazism, against Nazi oppressors. Uh, Red Army was a liberator. Even though the World War II, as we know, started with a Ribbentrop-Molotov pact and was launched by Nazis and communists as allies. And later, sides were modified substantially. But that was the fact. And what were the three parts of Marxist, Leninist, communist ideology? First, political theory. Marx expected the end of history in an anarcho-communist way. State government will wither. If we collectivize, nationalize our property, there will be no class struggle. And that's why no state, no government will be necessary, because according to communist ideology, state was, government was an instrument of class struggle. Let us collectivize, nationalize our property, destroy private property, and state will wither. So it will be perfect freedom, justice, equality, and peace. No coercion, no government. 
However, the problematic aspect was that the second to last stage of history had to be to be a dictatorship of proletarians, according to Marx, modified by Lenin, dictatorship of and by the Communist Party. So a totalitarian government, dictatorship of Communist Party, that's the best kind of government for the future justice. Political economy. We must abolish the institution of private property, the source of all injustices and inequalities, and have a common collective, socialized property. And philosophy of history and human beings, we are just pure matter. We are several tens, maybe hundred and more kilograms of matter. Flesh, bones, blood, and so on. And nothing more. We are no different than the chairs or lamps. Just a matter. Well, that was quite revolutionary view because the older uh, Judeo-Christian view was that we are spirits, embodied spirits. We are spirits in bodies, but we are spirits, which means we have souls. We have free will. We can decide, we can choose between better and worse courses in our life. And we have conscience. But communists deny that. Now, let us see if and how those communist claims have collapsed. In Czech society, the first understanding was that perhaps dictatorship, any kind of dictatorship, is not the best form of government. That was quite easy to understand. So the first disillusion was with communist Stalinist terror in the 50s. Even a reformed communist in 1968 regretted the Stalinist terror. Some of them were victims, some of them were perpetrators. So they came with the idea of communism with a human face, whatever it could be. So it's not difficult to, to, to perceive dictatorship as not the best idea. Uh, and we had the memories of the democracy from the 20s and the 30s and older democracy in the Austrian Empire. Secondly, the socialist economy, economics, political economy. In the uh, mid-60s, mid-60s, so after 15 years of communism, in the mid-60s, it was obvious to all Czechoslovak citizens that allegedly oppressed workers in capitalist hellholes like Austria and West Germany were better off than workers in a workers' paradise called Czechoslovak Socialist Republic or German Democratic Republic or Hungarian People's Republic and so on. So, well, the second communist basic item of communist ideology was slowly abandoned and after the fall of communism in November 1989, uh, there was obvious to all that we must return to democracy, to limited government, to constitutional government to free and fair elections and guarantee of basic human rights and political freedoms. And people had th second thoughts about democratic socialism and perhaps democratic socialism, we experience socialism, but perhaps free markets are more productive if they are regulated by rule of law, not by a jungle, but rule of law and free markets could create more wealth and improve living standards of peoples, of families, and especially of poor, peop of poor people. Capitalism, free market economy won the fight with communist socialism on empirical grounds. And the last item, the materialist concept of persons. Unfortunately, that has remained even in a free society. Many people still think that we are not spirits, not souls with free will. We just live in this world for our lifetime. And if we have no eternal future with our creator, communists suggested, well, if we are just material beings, let us have a revolution and create a paradise on earth. Now, Czech society, and I would say the whole European or Western European society, is less ideological, more cynical, more nihilistic, and more hedonistic. If we have no eternal lives, 
what should be the purpose of life, pleasure. So I would say the materialist philosophical aspect of communism uh, has not been completely left by us. However, heroic struggles were fought by Saint John Paul II, by his successor, uh, Benedict XVI, and current Pope, and many other spiritual leaders. Uh, the materialistic view, which could lead to nihilism and hedonism, is still with us, not only in post-communist countries, but in, in Western other countries as well. So on that one point, it seems communism has not been defeated yet, or Marxism-Leninism has not been defeated yet. And the final thought, who are the heirs of communists, communist ideology today? People who don't use brutal totalitarian, totalitarian methods, maybe not yet, but who share many ideas of communism. The idea that human beings could be made perfect, that new brave society, new brave world could be established now and here, that we could have utopian, utopian expectations, and that real human beings are the obstacle. So the elite of enlightened intellectuals and politicians and journalists should in fact rule the people. That's the worldview which I have described in the morning as woke progressivism. Uh, the same fanaticism, the same neo-Jacobin, neo-Puritan approaches, no forgiveness for sins, real or alleged. You see, uh, we are asked to forgive in order to be forgiven. But if somebody 200 years ago was defender of freedom, established perfectly free constitution for the first time, but had racist ideas, he must be porked to hell. His statutes must be demolished. So no forgiveness, no forgiveness. And the uh, Puritan Jacobin understanding, we are the first pure and perfect generation. We make no mistakes. It's very childish, very adolescent. But that's something which resembles young communists from the 50s in Czechoslovakia, from the 20s and 30s in the Soviet Union. And the same zeal, how to suppress opponents, not, not putting them in prison, but in some cases, yes, but council culture and political correctness. So the ethos of communism is not completely that. Most people in my country who remember communism are just laughing at, uh, at those movements, anti-racist or en radical env environmentalist. Uh, by the way, uh, conservation and protection of environment is a primarily conservative endeavor. We want to have clean air, clean water, and to live in nice, beautiful, natural environments. That's conservative idea as Sir Roger Scruton, among others, taught us. But we don't perceive human beings as the beast, as the enemy. We would like to protect environment for the people, not against the people. But those radical environmentalists see human, human race as parasites on the earth. If there are non humans, the earth, Mother Earth, the only goddess they respect, uh, would be quite well even without us, as humans. So I would say, I myself childishly had thought that the one, that the battle for freedom was won in 1989. And of course not. That was, that was my, my mistake of my, of my, of my young years. Uh, the, the struggle for freedom and for human dignity is eternal. And you never know from which side new threats against freedom and human dignity can come. Battles against Nazism against communism have been won, and now some people think that we will surrender to pygmy ideology of progressivism. What those people think we are. Thank you.